Imagine being in the center of a musical instrument. Imagine being a part of this unique musical instrument and experience how sound is produced by playing an active part in sound creation. The Musical Island, or Ancrano Cure, is a project by artist Paul Berg and a small team of volunteers. Since we have designed and built the main island over the past months, we are about to embark on phase two, constructing the instruments which make this island a musical installation. The project subtitle is on Crano Kjol. The Irish word Crano refers to a wooden structure or vessel, but also means young tree. Kjol simply means musical. In April 2017, we started the construction of the island using a very large pontoon float which we attached to a steel frame. The timber we used is Irish large. This is a locally grown timber the least susceptible to rot often used for boat building. We made the deck in the shape of an Irish high cross, inserted some sections with glass mosaic or marine plywood and made a planter in the centre of the deck. To finish off the main raft, we built a railing with entrance posts around it for safety and installed two sets of four air supply floats on either side. Before the year is out, we'll plant a young weeping willow in the centre. This island can easily hold eight people at a time. This raft, the first stage of the musical island, measures four metres in diameter and floats perfectly with the deck some 20 to 30 centimetres above water level. This musical installation has its moorings at a small harbour in Mount Shannon, County Clare. It floats on Scariff Bay, which is part of Loch Derg, one of the largest lakes on the River Shannon. For this coming winter, we we'll keep the musical island safe at the boatyard at the harbour while working on the musical part at the Paul Burke Artwork Studio in Mount Shannon Village. The organ pipes float on the water on top of foam filled vessels. At the base of the tree like pipes, a 40 litre vessel holds the air that pushes through the reed chambers which produce the sound through a simple resonator. A cable and pulley system runs through an underwater steel frame. The cables lead to a series of levers attached to the main console on top of the deck. By pulling the levers, the air supply vessels underneath the pipes are pushed underwater, releasing air through the pipes, creating the sound. By releasing the levers, the pipes make their way to the surface, again creating sound. This is a major part of Ancrano Kjol, the musical island. The primary organ pipes are tuned to a very low key, first, second and third octave. The secondary pipes are fitted through the main deck and sound low minor and major chords. Attached underneath both sides of the island are two sets of four vessels containing 25 litres of air each. By rocking the raft from side to side while standing on it, water displaces the air on the one side while the vessels on the opposite side take in air through non-return valves. Again the air gets pushed through a series of pipes similar to the main organ pipes at the front sounding low notes. You can play those notes by rocking the deck, other than that the waves can play the music. The final two organ pipes serve as entrance posts to the musical island. As these are free floating reed instruments, they can be played by manually pushing them down in the water. These musical mooring posts can be tuned to most keys, but we mainly keep them tuned to the key of A minor and E7. The rhythm section is divided in two parts, left and right on the outside of the railing. When struck, the sound is made. Apart from this, these pipes made of bamboo, steel and PVC can be pushed down sounding low notes and can even be played by the wind. Besides being a very large musical installation in its own right with a tree grown through the centre of it, 
Solo musicians, bands and ensembles will be part of future performances using the island's instruments as accompaniment to their music. Some of the basic music has already been written and the first performance has been planned for the official launch next summer. On completion, springtime 2018, the musical island has a choice of three moorings in the locality of Mount Shannon County Clare. Since its raft is easily moved, we intend to sail it between these locations for the purposes of private viewings, public use and the occasional concert. Using solar powered lighting, the island will be dimly lit at night time while the wave powered sounds of the organ can be easily turned off. Just before winter 2018, we will park the island and its components at a boatyard on the shore until the next spring and embark on phase two, the musical water garden. In the hopefully near future, the water garden will have its permanent moorings with public access from the shore. We hope to have two islands for string and wind related installations, some more musical floats as well as permanent seating on the rafts, a wheelchair accessible walkway and lots of plants. <laughs>